Hello everyone, this is Digital Dave and today we're going to look at a great tool that ties in with some of our previous topics that we've been talking about regarding how to pick a niche and that is Google Trends. Hi, I'm Small Business Stacy. I'm Digital Dave. Where marketing meets technology. Google Trends is a tool that's been around for quite some time which allows you to go search and define the search trends for certain words. <clears throat> so one of the things that y you know, you're going to want to know about Google Trends is that it doesn't necessarily have to be always in an uptrend to be a good trend. It can actually be in a downtrend as long as there's plenty of searches for that topic. Now to illustrate Google Trends you would want to go to trends.google.com and that will bring up the Google Trends homepage and there's always some interesting information right on the homepage. We're not going to spend any time on this today but you know go check it out. What we're going to do is we're going to actually talk about how to use this to pick a niche and we're going to use the illustration today in the health market just for ease of comparison we're going to look at some health topics and we're going to compare the trends within those health topics and then we're going to look at some longer tail keywords within those topics as well just to kind of see how those translate into a trend that we might be able to use as a niche for our business. So let's start by putting in a search term and we're going to put in today we'll start with the term anxiety. This seems to be a big topic these days and we're going to type in anxiety and first thing we're going to see about anxiety is that this is the anxiety graph of searches that have occurred over the last 12 months worldwide. We can actually narrow down or expand this if we want to. So I may say, you know, I only want this search trend within the United States. And when we change that, you know, we see a slightly different look. You know, it's it's a little bit more of an uptrend here, I think, than it was if we searched it globally. Now, and then down below, if you want to see where the most of the searches are coming from, you would see the states that are searching this. Now, why is this important? Well, you know, again, if you're looking for some longer tail you know words to use in your marketing you would want to use anxiety in West Virginia anxiety in Vermont you can see how this how, how quickly and easily you can translate the the trend line into more longer longer ta tail searches or keywords now I'm going to extend this trend line out a little bit I'm going to go out five years and take a look at what that looks like now that looks quite different so you know, over the last 12 months, you know, we're kind of static maybe a little bit, but if you go back five years, you can clearly see that there's an uptrend in the anxiety health niche. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now take what I already know, and I know that by state, you know, here's some of my key states, and actually when I went out five years, Maine came up number one. Maine, Rhode Island, isn't that interesting how it changed? West Virginia was bumped to number two. Now what you can also do is you can compare keywords. So we're in the health niche and it's to say I'm deciding on you know which niche I might want to pick within health. So I'm going to use some other you know bigger scale topics within health and we're going to compare these in here and see how they compare. So we'll compare anxiety to depression. And what we see is that, you know, anxiety is the blue, much more straight trend line where depression kind of bounces up and down. But they kind of follow the same line a little bit. I mean, both have a slight uptrend, it looks like. And it also gives you some breakdowns of the dual words together 
or words that are related. So here's related queries and words that you can use to expand on both of these topics. Uh, we're going to continue this on and we'll say, we'll go completely different here. How about we go and we put in weight loss. And weight loss, yeah, again, same thing. It's jumping all over the place. So let's see if we can find some commonalities within why this weight loss you know, trend. It's slightly uptrending, I guess, but it's very, you know, seasonal for some reason or another. So it seems to be very seasonal towards what? The beginning of the year, right? Everybody has their New Year's resolutions and there's always a spike, it looks like, every year in the amount of traffic right around January 1st. And again, why would that be critical? Well, in your marketing, you want to make sure you're ready to go, you know, on December the 15th and you have your marketing messages already out there trying to capture those people during this spike. This is a very short spike, but a lot of people are searching during that time. So those are critical factors when you're picking your niche, you know, within these trend lines. So let's go ahead and add another one here. Let's add something again kind of completely different. How about back pain? And back pain is the green. And same thing, this has got a slight uptrend as well with a decent uptrend like recently. So I don't know why all of a sudden there's kind of a forced uptrend here uh, in back pain. Very interesting that that all of a sudden is starting to pick up some steam as far as searches. So back pain and let's add in another one here. Let's add in high blood pressure. And that's purple. That's a flat line. Maybe even yeah, that's flat. That's a completely flat line. So again, it doesn't necessarily matter you know that any one of them are up or down trending per se. What does matter is the number of searches that are occurring within that within that that word that you're using, you know, as a whole. So we've looked at these words over a 5-year period in the United States. Now let's go ahead and expand this back out to all just for kicks just to see what the difference looks like because you may not be limiting yourself to only wanting to market within the United States and if you're marketing worldwide you know you can see the search volumes are higher for each one of them you know it looks like individually and it also looks like you know the trends are very fairly similar with again back pain being the one showing the greatest uptrend recently although you know, if you follow the trend line longer term, you know, it could you could go with anxiety. It's got more of an up, upward trending line as a whole, you know, from start to finish than back pain. So from this, you know, we we took some words you know, related to health and we decided that we were going to kind of compare them to pick a niche. And so from my analysis here, if I were looking at this, and here's some related queries that kind of relate independently to the the words themselves each one has its own list of related queries I think if I were going to pick the niche today I would probably go with anxiety so we're going to go ahead and expand on that one and to remove your other ones you just click click on them click remove and we're going to get rid of all of these and we're going to do a little dive in a little deeper into anxiety now, anxiety gets a lot of searches. And if you were going to go out and market for the keyword anxiety, you're probably going to have a hard time, you know, ranking or getting, you know, a lot of traffic for the word anxiety directly. However, what we can do is start to break that down a little bit and look at some of the trends for maybe some of the little bit longer tail keywords or phrases. So I'm going to say let's start with anxiety in men. Let's 
we didn't get anything all right so it couldn't find it it couldn't find any information on there so let's take out the in and let's just put in men still flat line how about men's anxiety it's still flatlining let's try women And it's actually giving you a list of, of the overall phrases that it's going to give you information for here. Although we were trying some, I wanted to see if it would give us some longer tail. We're not going to go too long here in this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick anxiety disorder and see if that shows any kind of a different trend. In fact, that one's kind of a downtrend. go back and let's look at the related words again and see if we can find anxiety disorder seems like anxiety social anxiety all right let's try that now these are trends okay so they are looking for somewhat bigger topics versus just straight searches alone which we could just go to Google uh, analytics and get or uh, Google keyword tool and get you know actual just statistics on you know individual phrases and words which is what we would do next after we looked at Google Trends but we're trying to find some of the major trends of so social anxiety anxiety symptoms So you can see just by adding one word, you know, you're limiting the number of people that are searching that word, but you are making the word probably you know, a little bit longer tail and less competitive in your searches. Now, if I were going to go further with this, I would take this topic, this trend, and I would break it down into some longer tail phrases such as if we were searching for anxiety for men, anxiety for women, anxiety for overweight people, uh, anxiety for people who work, you know, there's a lot of different ways to extend a word into longer tail keywords and then in the Google keyword tool which we'll cover in another episode will show you how to take a trend like anxiety and break that down into some longer tail keyword phrases that you might be able to use in your marketing that you would rank for fairly quickly and get some immediate traffic. So this is today's episode which is really using Google Trends to compare some topics that you might be interested in looking for trends if, in, in, you know, for search traffic over time to determine if that might be a valuable niche for you to, to market into within your business. So again, this is Digital Dave. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll be back for another episode soon. Catch us later. Thanks. Bye-bye. This podcast was brought to you by Small Business Stacy, the small biz marketing specialist. Want to grow your business more in the next 30 days than you have in the past three months? Get your free marketing plan at smallbizmarketingspecialist.com. That's smallbizmarketingspecialist.com.